Come and sing with me the birthing song of the modern era. Join in the refrain of the jubilant crowds as they dismantle the cold stone walls of their Bastille prison. And listen to the chat, chat, chattering teeth of the pale-faced fallen aristocrats in their burning chateau. Yes, join in the revolutionary chorus as it shakes the foundations of the world. A song so loud that maybe it could even reach the ears of the jaded cynics of the 21st century with the thundering voice of a risen people. The king is dead. Long live the king. Yes, let it reach their ears. The years of a generation that talks about revolution while sitting in Starbucks demonstrating the kind of thinking I can't trust. Liberals safe and sound in their self-righteous white-collar mantra of NGOs, political correctness, and unconditional non-violence, ivory tower, history books. Reading sympathy with the tyrant on the guillotine who, like them, was privileged enough to have a face and a name that nice, objective historians would consider worthy of remembrance. What lies are told over endless decaf lattes, conversations untainted by comfortable words such as intifada, narod, or sans culotte. Educated fools picking at the bones of dead revolutionaries who didn't meet their manicured, middle-class, bourgeois standards of morality. As if they were in a position to judge Stalin. As if they could comprehend grinding peasant village poverty, years on the run, torture in czarist jails, the freezing desolation of Siberian exile. As if they could comprehend thinking Ekaterina blow her last breath in your face as she died from an entirely preventable disease. As if they could rise above all that. As if they could endure decades in power surrounded by hungry colonial powers hell-bent on reclaiming their lost property. Have you ever heard of Liebensraum? Are we supposed to be reasonable when our land is overrun by fascists? Or when all of Europe's monarchies decide our revolution is just not in their interest and dispatch their professional brute squads, i.e. soldiers, to put the peasants back in their place? Have you ever listened to the words of La Marseillaise? I'm sure even Gandhi would pick up a gun if he was in the crosshairs of Hitler's SS. But in the immortal words of Malcolm X, you're afraid to bleed. Maintaining a false peace so the vampire that drains the blood of humanity might spare you for another day. But its political economy is always hungry. And Starbucks revolutionaries make a nice, light snack. So don't tell a person staring down the barrel of an imperialist gun to be reasonable. Never tell a rape victim she doesn't have the right to pull the trigger. Never tell an Afghan he is too violent when the USAF can drop bombs on his family from 40,000 feet. And never forget where you come from. Because this song of revolution pervades the modern era like a siren call of infinite possibility, beckoning us to do the impossible, an uncompromising chorus that still shakes the foundations of the world, hear its words. Aux hommes citoyens, formez-vous bataillons, marchons, marchons, Sang in pure, above an ocean. Let the rich and powerful know that the people have ways of dealing with oppressors. Oh.